If the state had information that could warn you how dangerous a road you're driving on might be, you'd want to know, right? That danger is greater every year here in the Austin metro area. In the past year alone, there were more than 40,000 crashes. That's a sharp increase of 27% from five years ago. 265 of those crashes in the past year ended with someone dead, and that is up 12% from five years ago. TxDOT says about 90% of those are preventable, caused by driver error. But we wanted to know the other factors. Well, we asked for specific safety conditions on those roads. The Texas Department of Transportation denied our public information request, saying it's confidential. But KXAN investigator Brian Collister got a hold of some information TxDOT refuses to release detailing the quality of road pavement. Brian, how did that happen? Well, in this case, TxDOT says one of its employees unknowingly gave that information out. Now, we took a look, and what we found was just how bad some road conditions are here in Travis County. Then we traveled to some of the worst places with the lowest ratings. Large potholes on 2222 between Mesa and Burnett. Heavily cracked pavement on Decker Lane between FM 969 and Highway 290. And we also looked at uneven asphalt on Manchac Road between I-35 and the Hayes County line. Thing is, this kind of crucial road information exists for the entire state, but it's something TxDOT doesn't want you to see. It's their highway safety secret. My wife, it was a beautiful woman, beautiful girl. Um, I miss her every day. Evangelos Voitsinus' wife, Carol, called her husband on her way home to Elgin in 2015. A couple hours passed and did not, uh, she did not come. Carol was killed instantly when a tow truck hydroplaned, lost control, crossed the median, and struck her car. Uh, she was everything for me, you know. What happened happened, you know. It's an accident, and you don't have a control with an accident. But Voitsunas does believe it's an accident that could have been prevented, according to a lawsuit he's filed against TxDOT. It claims the agency knew or should have known the road surface was so worn and slick that it was dangerous and defective and contributed to the accident. And this has not been the only deadly crash on this 12-mile stretch of 290 between Elgin and Maynard in recent years. More than 800 accidents, including 10 deaths, according to records provided by TxDOT since 2011, including a father and son killed last May when their pickup truck hydroplaned and flipped over in almost the same spot as Carol's accident. The safety factors behind crashes like that are part of what TxDOT calls confidential highway safety information, including findings from its team of investigators who research every deadly accident. It means the general public can't find out if a traffic signal works properly, or if a bridge is stable, or if a railroad crossing is unsafe. TxDOT also gives every section of pavement a condition score, but you'll never see it. They want us to help them figure out safer designs. Transportation researchers like Dr. Kara Cockleman at the University of Texas can get some safety data from TxDOT, but must sign an agreement saying they won't release it. Yeah, I think the more transparent our agencies can be, the better it is for everyone. Still, TxDOT won't give them pavement condition data, which could help save lives. Pavement, if they're bumpy, can kind of send the car in the wrong direction if the driver's drowsy or lets go of the steering wheel for a second. TxDOT collects a lot of safety information. Why can't the public see that? Well, that information, <laughs> as a matter of law from federal law, state law, and our attorney general opinion, is um, exempted from being released. Federal law says highway safety information cannot be used in a lawsuit. And state law says information that's not discoverable, which means cannot be used in a lawsuit, is not public information to anyone. The law says nothing about keeping that information from you and me, just that you can't use it in court. Federal law, I've read it, and it basically says you can't use the safety information we're talking about in a lawsuit. Correct. So then why not release it to the public? Because if we release it to the public, Two days later, it would show up in a, in a lawsuit against the department. If it can't be admitted into a court, why tell people they can't see it because it may be admitted in court? 
Because what will happen is the attorneys will look at that information and then try and draw that information out from people who, brought, who get brought to, um, into the trial for that. I'm a taxpayer. I have a wife and children. They drive around in a minivan on the road. Lots of people watching at home have the same. Why should the safety of their roadway be secret for any reason? So I as well as a, at, am a taxpayer, as are all the people at TxDOT. We have family. We ourselves drive on the road. It's important to know if we see any roadway, any bridge that is not safe, it's going to be closed down. I would like to hear more about the, the basis for that position. Lawmakers like Austin right, Representative right, Celia right, Israel are supposed to have access to any state record, but she says it's been difficult for even her to get some information from TxDOT on deadly crashes. We were confused as to why. As a member of the House Transportation Committee, she's promised to review TxDOT's transparency this session. I think obviously the public deserves to know what are we doing, how are we doing it, and uh, I, I hope that your um, analysis can, can help shed some light on how we can communicate and share data better, especially when it comes to public safety. If this kind of accidents that happen will give the opportunity to improve and not to happen again, I will say that then my wife's lost its uh, justified. We checked other similar size highway departments like Florida and California. Both released the same information TxDOT is keeping secret. Remember, TxDOT says it's because of a federal law. But even the city of Austin releases similar information about its roads. TxDOT says it does have a lot of data on its website that's collected by police who respond to accidents. And still, it's not the safety data analyzed by experts in crashes and experienced traffic engineers. That's right. Brian, we know you've put a lot of this information online. People can see which roads have the most fatal crashes in their area. So check out our digital interactive feature. Search for this story in the investigative section of KXAN.com.